So today I am back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it. So without any further delay, let's get started. In one of my previous videos, we have discussed about primary key constraints and foreign key constraints. Today we will spot the difference between them and also practically learn how to create table and link them with the help of primary key and foreign key. So without any further delay, let's get started. Difference between primary key and foreign key. A primary key is used to ensure data in the specific column is unique, whereas a foreign key is a column or group of columns in a relational database table that provide a link between data in two tables. Number two, primary key uniquely identifies a record in the relational database table, whereas foreign key refers to the field in a table which is the primary key of another table. Number three, in primary key, only one primary key is allowed in a table whereas more than one foreign key is allowed in a table. Primary key is a combination of unique and non-null constraint, whereas foreign key can contain duplicate values and a table in a relational database. Number five, primary key does not allow null values, whereas foreign key can also contain null values. Number six, Primary key's value cannot be deleted from the parent table, whereas foreign key value can be deleted from the child table. Primary key constraint can be implicitly defined on the temporary table, but in foreign key constraint cannot be defined on the local or global. Now, let us learn how to create two tables with primary key and foreign key. Here, I am creating a database named Modern High School Creation of first table with primary key. First, we have to create the table named student. So, create table student within bracket the columns, the name of the columns, followed by its data type. So, the table will be std id, integer, std name, worker 20, std phone, integer, std state, worker 20, std country worker 20 std age integer here std id is the primary key so std id integer primary key run the query to create the table student now insert the values of student insert into student values now write the values of the corresponding students to fill up the table Run the queries to insert the values of the student. Now select asterisk from student. Run the query to see the table. Now creation of second table and linking these two tables with the help of foreign key. So creating second table that is student course. Create table student course within bracket std id integer course id worker 20 course name worker 20.
In the second table, course ID is the primary key. So, course ID worker 20 primary key. Now, creating foreign key. That is, foreign key within bracket std ID with reference to the first table student whose primary key is std ID. So, foreign key within bracket std ID reference student within bracket std ID. Run the table to see the result. Now, inserting the values of the second table as we did for the first table. So that's all for today. Hope you all will get some help from this video. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.